Hi, this is Barry. I just wanted to put this video out as a quick intro to something I've been working on lately in the workshop. This video is about a do-it-yourself CNC machine, and while it shows the machine carving a demonstration, I don't find that in itself to be very interesting. So I'm going to explain a bit about what's involved while it does its thing. I also want to give credit to a couple of developers that made what you're seeing possible. The hardware for this machine is known as a mostly printed CNC or MPCNC. The MPCNC is a do-it-yourself CNC carving and engraving machine that is made from 3D printed parts, home store conduit, and commonly available hardware for stepper motors and control circuits, etc. It was designed and released to the world by Ryan Zellers. It's an extremely affordable way to get into CNC and is very customizable. When used within its limits, it's a very capable machine. Ryan offers a version of Merlin, which is CNC control software that is customized for the MPCNC and works quite well in this machine. You can provide your own controller board or buy it pre-installed on hardware by Ryan. I did this and I had everything working with minimal issues. This is a good choice if you're wanting to get a capable machine with minimal fuss. You can also control the stepper motors with other control hardware and software. In the example that you're watching, I control the MPCNC with a different software called Gerbil ESP32. This version of Gerbil was customized by Bart Dring to run on an ESP32 chip and use common stepper drivers to control the motors by way of a controller board that was also designed by Bart. So while it seems like you're only watching a machine move around, it's really a testament to the open source hardware and software community. This includes the countless people who have been providing open source software and hardware along the way, as well as the two gentlemen that I mentioned in this video who tweaked it to work in this particular machine. I'm going to keep this short, but I'll be putting together some more videos soon to more fully explain the process that I took to build this machine, as well as share more of my approach to do-it-yourself CNC. I hope you'll post a comment as to whether or not do-it-yourself CNC is something that you're interested in, and if you have any specific questions that I can address in future videos. I just have to say, this is a great time to be a creator. Thanks for watching.